see them open the gate and we're going to see them allow them through and calmly walk with them. Police are squabbling with protesters. Oh, oh, bringing them go. in. They're literally bringing them in. There they are walking with and the police. They just the Capitol again. And they've breached the Capitol, walking in with the police. Let's, let's take a look at this one. Another barricade. This officer is literally, look, look at him. Come, come, come this way, come this way. Let me pull that back. This officer is saying, watch his hand gesture. This way, guys, this way. Uh, we move on to this one. Um, look at the number of police officers in the line back there as these people just waltz right in here, guys. They are just walking in the door. Um, and I, I'll turn the volume down so we can, uh, it's just a bunch of shouting, but look. Watch them just openly march right into this place, and there's cops here. Look, look on the sides here, guys. Police officers standing on the sides, doing nothing, standing there, allowing the mob to just enter the building. This is the stuff you're not going to get from the mainstream media, guys. This is why you need to turn off your TV. Watch these guys just be given free will to enter the building. Now, as they eventually get to this area, they got one one cop here for, for, for all of them, and look at what he has to deal with. He's saying, get back. He's got a baton, a stick. They get closer to the inside. Look at this. One cop. Come on, guys. This is the Capitol building. You're telling me this, that, you know, these guys were able. Look at this guy. He's got a stick, and he just keeps backing up and running away. It's one. One man versus the mob at this point, guys. Now, I want to show you what the mainstream media is pumping out there. They are saying this clip represents the moment protesters first broke through Capitol Hill barricades. And we have a clip where there are police officers there and a group of uh, protesters pushing through the barricades. But let's take a look at it, shall we? What do we have? About 50 protesters versus, what, five cops? Guys, this is just absolutely unreal that we would think that they would have a, a, a security presence such as this knowing what was coming. As I said in, in this tweet the other day, yesterday, Washington's elite politicians were all in one building that had a current threat from Iran being investigated by the FBI. Guys, did you know that? Here's this chilling threat sent to air traffic controllers vowing revenge for the killing of Iranian general is under investigation. Yes, the FBI was investigating this credible threat. Multiple air traffic controllers in New York heard a chilling threat Monday in audio obtained exclusively by CBS News. We are flying a plane into the Capitol on Wednesday. Soleimani will be avenged. Guys, the, the Iranians literally said they're going to avenge Soleimani, who was uh, killed a, a year to date before this message, at the Capitol building on Wednesday. So as I say, the, the FBI were currently investigating this, yet it was incredibly easy for Joe Schmo and Sally Soccer Mom to just storm their way in. This was a complete setup, plain and simple. Um, uh, now let's move on uh, to, to the point of if they wanted to secure it, they could have. Uh, I also posted this. Remember this image during the BLM demonstrations? If they wanted to protect the Capitol building, they would have. I need to remind you, too, that during the Black Lives Matter protests, uh, the media was constantly uh, 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 just kind of saying it's, it's all peaceful. Look at this guy standing in front of uh, raging fires in the background. He says, fiery but mostly peaceful after police shooting. They, they constantly push this in the narrative. And I saw this from the uh, New York Times. Cleaning crews at the Capitol were vacuuming the residue from pepper spray used on the mob of Trump supporters. Uh, who stormed the building, and as Lauren Southern pointed out here, am I losing my mind? Did the media not just spend a year standing in front of raging fires, acting like nothing happened, and now they're literally zooming in on dust to be vacuumed in the Capitol? Yeah, well, that's what this has come to, guys. And I guess for anyone new, because I'm hoping a lot of people share this, share this on every right-wing type group you can share it on. For people who don't know me, I'm basically... I don't believe in politics whatsoever. <laughs> I believe in complete and total freedom. So I might not be exactly like you, but I agree with a lot of things that a lot of freedom type people believe in, especially people who believe in like the constitution, stuff like that. Although I, I think even that is kind of like, <laughs> hang on, we got some guys doing some serious work over here. Maybe I'll walk 
Hang on, I'll walk by him real 